Welcome to our tutorial on how to create a dispatch in ESC. To begin creating a dispatch, we must first find and qualify the customer. So click on the search icon and make sure the customer list is selected. Use the field at the top to enter some of the customer's name, address, or other identifying information and press tab. Right click the correct customer and select Qualify Customer. Use the information on this screen to determine if you want to create a dispatch for the customer. Other videos in this series will deal with this screen in detail, so for now, we're just going to assume that we like what we see and are ready to create a dispatch. So click Activities and select Create Dispatch, or just click that button on the toolbar. This will carry that customer's information over to the Dispatch Entry screen and automatically assign it a dispatch number. Press Tab and enter the name of the person that is requesting service. Use the Type field to classify this dispatch and determine if an invoice should be created for it. For this example, we'll set it to COD to remind the technician to collect in the field, but we might change this to a non-billable type if we were sending out a salesperson to give a quote. Use the Sales Sort field to select how the customer heard about us. This will eventually flow to the invoice and allow us to track how profitable each of our advertising efforts are. We can use the blue hyperlink to go to the Setup screen if we need to add more options on the fly. This brings us to service request codes. These codes represent the reason the customer is calling. By adding them to a dispatch, we can see how long the dispatch should take and set the minimum skill level required. Use the dispatch notes to expand on these codes if necessary and enter other critical information. Most of the rest of the fields on the screen will be filled in automatically by the software, but there are a few worth mentioning. We can use the priority field to set the color and importance of the dispatch. If the customer has given us a purchase order, we can use this field to enter it. And finally, the job field can be used to tie this dispatch to other dispatches, invoices, and purchase orders through the job module. We can then switch to the Equipment tab if we know what the tech will be working on and check off the appropriate items. Likewise, the Parts tab can be used to select any parts that will be needed to complete the dispatch. This can also save us time as items added here will automatically flow to the invoice that is created after the dispatch has been completed. At this point, we would normally click Save and schedule the dispatch by dragging it from the unassigned column on the dispatch board to the desired tech and time. If you would prefer to do this here, however, you can by clicking on the Schedule tab. Use the grid to select the desired technician, then set the promised date and time. Use military time to make this easier. If multiple technicians will be needed to complete the dispatch, or if the same technician will be required to go to the customer's site for multiple days, click the Add Technician button. Select the appropriate tech or crew and change the promised date and time if required. Click Save or Print to finish creating the dispatch. Be sure to check out our other videos on completing a dispatch to find out how to get the dispatch to the appropriate technician and update it as work is performed. This concludes our video on creating a dispatch. Thank you very much for watching.